Hello, this is Brett from Survival Comms, and today is the big day. Today we're going to go ahead and wire the Micro Bit X. This is the wiring diagram that comes from the HF Signals website, and it's very simple. There's a there's four connectors. There's a DC connector, there's an RF connector, there's a connector that goes to the Arduino, which I'll call the logic connector, and then there's an audio board or an audio connector that goes to the Micro Bit X main board itself that controls most of the audio functions. Before we start talking about the supplied connectors and how we're going to configure them, let's talk about grounds. I've selected a metallic chassis. This metallic chassis is going to serve as an efficient ground for the radio itself. Being that this is that all of my grounds are essentially tied together with this chassis itself is going to allow me the ability to forego connecting the individual ground wires to the components that don't have continuity through the chassis. Like you can see that our encoder has continuity on the ground side of it. However, the volume control does not. So that's going to require a separate ground wire. And we'll also run a separate ground wire to the RF connector here. It's my opinion that that's going to make for a more efficient build. Here you have two individual 8-pin connectors. And what I've done is, is I've twisted the leads together for the particular item it goes to. For example, this goes to the speaker, this goes to my volume control, this right here are the two grounds that were superfluous and this purple wire will go to the microphone audio. On this side, this is our push to talk lead right here. And these are our grounds. And this is for our CW key. And these three leads go to our encoder. The RF side is elementary, it's just two conductors. I've twisted those together. And we're gonna keep this as short as possible while still having enough to where we can couple and uncouple the connection as required. And right here is our power connector and essentially our brown and red wires are gonna be tied together to power and our black wire is our ground which will be tied to the chassis. So let's get our easiest one out of the way first, our RF connector. For our DC wire, our on-off switch is in the volume control here. Being that both the brown and red wires are both going to be energized at the same time, I'm going to bring both of those wires together and this one here and then heat shrink that. So now we've got our connection there and we're just going to shrink it up. For our ground wire, we're just going to go ahead and cut it shorter and it's just going to tie to the chassis entrance point ground. Our power cabling is installed and you can see that we've got our lead going in and our battery positive runs to the switch and from the switch when you turn it on it runs from there back to the DC connector on the board and then you can see our ground runs to our chassis and then we also have tied in the ground wire to the DC connector on the board. And at this point you may be asking what about the protection diode and yes I did leave the protection diode in the circuit I just put it at the power pole down here so the reverse bias diode is down here at this end and all that does is, is when you apply power backwards to the device it causes a short here and it hastens the fuse opening the circuit. Well, let's turn on our power and check our current and our display lights up and we're drawing 166.7 milliamps. We're going to wire up our speaker and we're going to talk about tip, ring, and sleeve. On our standard plug, this is our tip, this is our ring, and this is our sleeve. In this radio, the sleeve is grounded. So, and these are stereo jacks. So our connections we're going to make, which if you weren't using a metal chassis, you would need to tie a ground wire into this terminal here and then you're going to put your audio on this terminal here. We've now got our speaker installed and it took up just about every bit of wire we had in that harness to reach this point from the very it's from the opposite corner of the board to reach here. We've now got our cabling run as well. We've got our cabling for our Redwino plugged in and we've got our connector plugged in for the main board. I'm going to take all these and bundle these together with some small wire ties and slide these along the front of the enclosure. Here is our microphone connector. 
purple, which is our mic audio, goes to the tip. Orange goes to the ring, and that's our push to talk. Our Morse key requires a 4.7 K ohm resistor on the keyer on the green wire. Then we bring that resistor and the blue wire to the tip. We have our key and our microphone both connected now. We had a volume control wired and from left to right we have our green wire, our orange wire, and our yellow wire. Here's our encoder. Uh, our encoder essentially has a, a momentary switch that's tied into it, which are these two wires here, which the uh, in this example here our top is grounded to the body. The body of it is grounded to the chassis and then that goes to the center pin on the encoder side. And then we have our red wire and our red wire ties into the bottom position of the switch. And our black wire is on the top and our brown wire is on the very bottom. So on the encoder side of the encoder you have black, ground, and brown. And your ground that I just used in this is, is I just used a piece of insulated wire because it's going to have to pass by that other conductor and then tied it to ground and then used a piece of bus wire which essentially I just took a lead off of the resistor we used for the keyer and tied that into that uh, first terminal on the switch side of the encoder. And what I've done here is I've taken all the grounds that I didn't have to hook to everything because I used a metal chassis and I tied them all together and brought them to this standoff and this ground point on the main board and there's only one ground that's off of the uh, the logic board itself and that one was to go to the encoder but I just brought all those things right to here and uh, tightened it up with a lock washer or a star lock. Moment of truth let's turn this thing on okay tuning is good we have our enclosure together now and I've labeled the key and mic Speaker in the ground. Weight of the radio completed is one and three quarter pounds. Standby current is 166.2 milliamps. Receive current draw at this volume level is around 210 milliamps. Current draw on CW transmit. is just under 1.7 amps. Power output on CW at 40 meters. Just over 5 watts. And at 10 meters, power output is just over 5 watts. Power output at 10 megahertz on the calibration menu on single sideband. 9 watts. Yeah, I can't get over there to Center Hill and it's ringing in. Radio, radio.
And the piece de resistance is the prototype survival comms channel stickers. The next video we're going to do is going to be building a microphone. I've already shot the video and built the microphones for it, but I'll try to keep these videos short for you guys instead of going on and on and on and try to keep everything on point so you know you don't waste your time listening to me talk incessantly about stuff. A friend of mine asked me the other day what I thought about the micro bit X, and I told him, I said, well, the easiest parallel I can draw with it is it's a lot like a Volkswagen Beetle. It's a very basic unit. Uh, it... it, it performs the transportation role. It's fairly efficient. However, uh, it's bare of bones. It's certainly not a luxury vehicle and it's not a hot rod. Now, like a Volkswagen Beetle, there's a huge aftermarket and there's a lot of people that have done modifications to these and they've done a lot of really amazing stuff with them, especially for the price point. Uh, however, it, it's still not going to be a high-end HF radio when you get done with it. But, you know what? For the price point, it's pretty doggone cool. So stay tuned for more videos on this, and the microphone video will be up uh, later on this week. And I hope this helps. This is Brett from Survival Comps. Till next time.